I'm gonna tell you guys basically how vlogging helps me and helps you. Morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing wonderful. It is Tuesday morning. And those are the dogs barking out the door. We'll say good morning to them. Good morning, guys. Good morning. I know. They're barking because Sassy is outside. There she is, sniffing my car. So I'm trying to take them to go potty before I leave to go to school. And Morel's already been out, so Sassy's out. And Riddler is screaming. Of course he is. All right, Sassy, are you ready to come inside? All right, this is going to be the hard part, getting her in without the other dogs getting out and getting Riddler out. So, ready? Let's see this. Come on, Sass. Sass in. Riddler out. Yay! Good potty. Good potty. Good boy. So, I just wanted to point out that... I feel like I look very cute today. Yay. And no, I did not straighten my hair. When my hair is pulled back, this is just what happens to it. So the rest of my hair is curly, but because my hair looks gross, I'm wearing a beanie. So now it looks like I did straighten my hair, even though I never did. So, are you done? Woo! You're running so fast. Good morning. Thank you for saying good morning to your internet friends. I bet they really appreciate it. So, I just feel like I'm wearing a cute outfit. Got the beanie, got a kind of like baggy a shirt, jeans, and of course, the best shoes in the world. But fun fact, part of my anxiety is getting dressed. Which, of course, on my intern days, it's not a big concern because it's the exact same. My intern shirt, khakis, boots, socks that are squishy, and of course, essential items. Um, but for any other day, my mind is going through a million questions. Like, okay, what is the weather like? How is the weather going to change and affect what we're wearing? Do we need to look cute? Can we look casual? Uh, what's the event that's going on? Do we need to look cute? Do we need to look casual? Will everything that we're wearing match? So many questions. So it actually takes me a while to choose an outfit. But of course, once I get it chosen, I'm like, okay, we're good. This is what we're going with. Maybe minor changes. So that's how I choose an outfit in the morning. Yay. Good morning, Mr. Rinder. You're all, you're in the sunshine. <laughs> oh, and if you guys can't tell, his collar's chewed up. It's because of the baby. Well, say good morning to the baby. Good morning, baby. I don't know if you can see him. Can you see the baby? Hi, baby. So now we're going to go inside and I'm going to head to school and I'll check back in with you later. Hey, guys. There be the Amarelle. Hey, sweet boy. Looking at you reminds me. I really need to update your training log. And probably also make an Excel table. Of what hours you've done. Look at your cute little face. You're so cute. So, I got both the vlogs up. I'm sorry that, I, that they were late. Or one of them was late. I was just tired. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, if I if a vlog is late for me, it's because I'm tired. Um, welcome to life. But, um, I've been thinking today about, well first, had anxiety during class. Just a lot of nail biting, so my nails are worse, as they usually are. A little bit painful. Um, a lot of just like, not really this, but like scratching at the table, or just needing to play with my hands, or mess with my hair, just... Needing to have some kind of energy out, but I was also very distracted, so I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't get anything done. So that was exciting. And then I learned I needed to take a little bit to the vet. It was his vet appointment, but don't have the money for it now, so he'll be going later this week. And then, of course, on the way home, my mind was just thinking about... Hey, guess what? You're still unemployed. You're still broke as crap. Like, you've applied to these places, and no one's hiring. And, of course, at that moment, I had gotten an email from Petco for 
because I had applied to be a guest associate and they're like no we don't need you and I'm just like dang it so there was even more of that and then my mind started thinking about my weight because that's something that it anxiety likes to mess with fun fact I don't always talk about that um so I said something to my mom about how a 270 pound mini horse was able to push an 180 pound me across the ground and um her first response was you're 180 pounds that's not healthy of course you know that's the one thing is your child being 180 pounds after she was nearly kicked by a horse again um so that's always something that bothered me and it doesn't help that I'm also a picky eater which I know sounds very childish and very lame but it really is hard because you know everything you see is like oh you know replace candy with grapes or um do like low-fat cottage cheese on toast or you know load up your plate with veggies and stuff that's not easy to do if you are a picky eater so great Ugh. Um, and it's mainly because of either taste or texture is the thing. Um, cottage cheese I am trying to like though, but a lot of like veggie type things is because I don't like the texture of it. And I know this sounds so lame because I, my mind is automatically going to other YouTubers that they're, they talk about eating healthy and I'm just like, well, that's a struggle for me. So then... For some reason, my mind likes to go into some dark recesses where it starts thinking of, like, habits that are bad for me. I don't know why, but, like, and I'm almost afraid to admit this. I actually looked at some Pro-Anna websites. Um, I know those are bad. Pro-Anna is not a good thing, guys. Do not look at it. But my mind was seriously considering doing tips that it suggested. And I'm like, brain, what are you doing? And of course, if somebody's just looking from the outside in, they're like, oh, you have full conscious control of what you're doing. Well, I wasn't really thinking about it at the time. But now I am trying to get my Fitbit loaded up because it, like, the battery died on it. And I'm going to try to lose weight um, by just a really simple way. Burn off more calories than you take in. Okay, I'm back. I had to feed MRL. Dad was feeding Sassy and Riddler downstairs, and I took Rid MRL downstairs. Apparently, they didn't want him fed with them because then Riddler wouldn't have to be kenneled. Because I kennel Riddler and MRL so that they won't steal each other's food. And now Little Bit's whining because he finished dinner, and he's upstairs with me while his brother and sister finish eating. And you don't get to go downstairs, do you? No, you're so sad. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try, I'm wanting to try to lose weight. It's something that's bothered me for a while. Um, whenever I check the BMI index thing, because remember, those things are kind of horrible. But it says I need to be about 130 something pounds for my size. But I'm like, you don't take into effect muscle, which I know that I'm a muscular person, besides with fat. You don't take into account that, lifestyle, genetic, blah 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 So that gets going in my brain too. So pretty much my brain's just a whole mess of you're not good enough in some way or another. Because if you were good enough, you would be thinner. If you were good enough, you would have been hired for a job by now. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm just like, oh, goody. <sighs> the joys of anxiety. But don't worry, it's, I'm going to one day get over it completely. You know, this isn't chemicals or genetic predisposition nope not at all can you tell i get very sarcastic hey guys so there's my sassy girl look there she is hi sweet girl oh and i've got nail polish on my thumb because i was working on a pair of glasses for a cosplay that i'm doing that hopefully i'll get done by con nuga which i'm pretty sure i will i just gotta do the glasses and then fix the wig up so yay um I just had a thought. Oh, I hate when this happens. When you know you're going to say something and then just boop, it's gone. 
um, I have found an opportunity through Instagram that I'm considering doing. And it's submitting a blog post for the blog 1 and 4, which basically is a group that's about how 1 in 4 adults will suffer with mental illness. Which, if you think about it, that's a pretty big number. Like, that's about 25%, which is very big, if you think about it. So I thought about that I would make a blog post about how vlogging has helped me and also has helped you guys. Because I know some of you guys have talked about how the vlogs have helped you, which I'm really, really glad that I'm able to help you and make you feel better about life and everything. So, yay. Um, oh, my eyes got really itchy. But I'm going to tell you guys basically how vlogging helps me and helps you. In case you're new and you don't already know. So let's go with how they help you first, obviously. So as I've always said, for those of you with mental illness, I uh, use the vlogs as a way to connect with you and let you know that you're not alone in your battle with mental illness or even if you don't have mental illness, like some kind of physical illness or struggle, whatever you have, just you're not alone. You've got a friend in me. Do, 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 I know. I am such a wonderful singer. Can you tell? Ooh, somebody's coming up the stairs. Who is it? Hi, boys. There be my Riddler boy. And my little fluff butt. Hi, guys. Hi, I love you. Um, and I've had comments from people in the past saying, like, how I'm very encouraging to them. And how I make them feel less alone because there's someone else who thinks the same way I do. What the crap? And recently I've been getting some comments about how it helps that I post some of the training videos with MRL. So, MRL, where are you going? MRL's going into the bathroom for some reason. <whistles> MRL, come here! MRL! Come here! That's a good boy! Thank you. You want to get on the bed? Go lay down on the bed. No. No, Mommy. I'm not going to do that. Um. So, yeah. And then for those who don't really know about mental illness, I like using the vlogs to show you how, basically, what life is like with living with a mental illness, or in my case, three. Um. Because a lot of people, the stigma behind it is that you can't function in life and that you basically are sitting in a corner for the rest of your life. No, that's not true. Um, a lot of people have that thought, but truth is, people with mental illness are very good at hiding their suffering and being able to function in public. There's so many people out there that have mental illness that you wouldn't even believe, like you wouldn't even know, like could be your mom or your best friend or your math teacher. Like you just don't know. Cause if you have a mental illness, you're pretty good at hiding it. You feel me, guys? And then how do my vlogs help me? Um, I say that they help for a few reasons. Um, number one, I can pro I can actually watch the progression and, like, the improvement, like, the rises and downfalls of my own symptoms. I can see where I've had good days and where I have bad days, and sometimes I like watching them again. Um... I also really like, let's face it, I like that I can also rant. Um, but ultimately, vlogging is a lot like journaling for me. But, because I've always heard that, oh, journaling is good with it for anxiety or mental illness, whatever. But writing journals, surprisingly, never stuck with me, even though I used to write a lot. Um, I don't know why, I just could not keep up with a daily journal. But when I started vlogging, I'm like, you know, vlogging is like a video journal. And to me, vlogging is so much more helpful. And I'm much more likely to stick with it because I know it helps other people. Because, if you guys don't already know, helping people is something that I love. It's basically the way I grew up, and that's what I'm happy with. Like, I love making people happy. I love putting a smile on their face, helping them any way I can. And I'm glad that these vlogs do that, so. Um, I also want to thank each and every one of you, all 91 of you, 
And if there's any of you who haven't subscribed yet, please do. But I want to thank all of you for subscribing and following this journey called life and commenting and, you know, all that fun jazz. Because without you guys, pressing the paint button wouldn't be a thing. Like, this vlog would not be where it is. So, I want to thank you so, so much for your support. You guys are awesome. Ready? We're going to have a big internet hug. Are you ready? Go! Internet hug! Yay! Hold on. Let's see if you can internet hug the dogs. Sassy! Do you want to give your internet friends an internet hug? Ready? Ready? Hug them! Good hugging. I'm real too busy chewing on toys to give internet hugs. And then Ridder's over there, but he gives internet hugs with his face. So, I love you guys, and you are awesome. Do not forget that. You are all absolutely amazing in all of your different special ways. And that's just what makes you awesome.